Hi everyone, meteorologist Daniel Graves here, 1.30 in on this Monday morning. And we're continuing to track the tropics, Marco and Laura and their potential tracks with Marco being the first to bring some impacts possibly to our area. Let's take a look at radar right now and things remain quiet across southeast Louisiana and coastal Mississippi. We've seen a few showers trying to get going, but for the most part, we've had some dry air on the western part of the system, and so it's really been diminishing the rainfall as it's been trying to move in. Rainfall is to the north and east of its center. You see more storms still across parts of Florida, and then a lot of the motion more toward the northeast. You see the movement north northwest at 12, uh, you can see it trying to make that turn to the north and then some of the rainfall or surrounding it is making that movement toward the west. So pretty interesting to see on satellite. And what's been happening is it's kind of been getting torn apart by some wind shear and some drier air that's been working in. And so what it's been doing is misplacing it, pushing it off toward the northeast. So you see a lot of this cloud cover is actually moving away from the center toward the northeast. So these are the factors affecting it. This is this big upper level low that's cutting winds across the Gulf of Mexico right into it. And then it's still trying to be pushed by this high, which is also guiding Laura there over Cuba. And so we kind of got a fight of two systems here of where it's trying to go. But for me, from what I see, it looks like it's still trying to make that more northerly track. But the forecast from the National Hurricane Center has a one o'clock advisory and they drop the winds down more to 65 miles per hour. Their movement north northwest at 12. And so it is still forecast to have a more northwesterly track here as we go into the morning and then pass just by the coastline of Terrebonne Parish. Some forecast models don't even have it moving on shore. And you see that here represented in the cone, a little bit more of a shift towards say the west or east or north or south, the way we're looking at it here, and then moving parallel to the Louisiana coast, heading toward Texas. And when we look at all the forecast models, again, what you wanna see are them close together. And we haven't been seeing that for a couple of days. It's been really hard to kind of pinpoint the forecast here, not just for Marco, but also for Laura but some of these model runs showing it turning before it would even make landfall and then diminish as it moved toward the west. Another thing I want to point out here too is when the tropical storm force winds could arrive. And when we showed this to you earlier, it had 8 a.m. down toward the coast. Well, now look what's happened. It's kind of pushed it back toward the south with the likelihood of tropical storm force winds arriving in later into the afternoon. On top of that, the, from the center of the system where tropical storm force winds extend out to has shrunk a bit, only 65 miles from the center. And so that could reach, say, up toward Lake Pontchartrain. But if it passed down toward Terrebonne Parish, you may not see as gusty of winds across South Mississippi or into parts of the North Shore. However, you're going to have an easterly flow throughout the day. Well, actually for the next several days. And so that's going to continue to push water on those shorelines. And so you could see some coastal flooding, of course, especially as we see Laura moving in. So right now it's across Cuba and a lot of activity on the south end of the system as it's remaining over the warm waters. And so it's winds now 65 miles per hour as it's still moving pretty quickly to the west northwest at 21. So what's going to be happening through the day is it'll be moving across Cuba by Monday evening on the western edge of it, moving back into the Gulf of Mexico late Monday night into Tuesday. From there, it's going to have the fuel it needs to intensify into a hurricane and still some questions of how much it is going to intensify over the Gulf of Mexico as we'll see a low shear environment. And you know, we like the shear like what it's doing to Marco. We may not have that for Laura. And so the intensity is a little bit higher. 105 mile per hour winds, a category two hurricane before landfall. And there's possibilities that could be even stronger than that. So right now the placement of the center in between Lake Charles and Lafayette. But I do want to note the cone still could be a little bit further off toward the west or we could again see another shift toward the east and the forecast models don't really help out with any kind of solution as we still see them kind of grouped in different spots. Southwest Louisiana, the border even further off toward the west. And so unfortunately still a lot more questions than answers as far as Laura is concerned. As we look at the forecast here locally, we'll see some rainfall spreading in throughout the morning and then the rapid precision model you know how I mentioned that it's kind of moving Marco more to the north. Well, the rapid precision model says 
We don't think it's going to even uh, turn toward the west, and so it's got the brunt of the rainfall heading toward the Mississippi coast into Alabama and not showing too much across southeast Louisiana if that solution pans out. But from what I'm seeing with those rain bands moving across it and moving into southeast Louisiana, I think we are definitely going to see some rounds of heavy rainfall at times Monday and into Tuesday as we'll continue to see that tropical moisture streaming in. The American model showing some heavy rain down toward the coast Tuesday afternoon and then taking it on shore as we head into the evening hours. Then following that behind that is Laura, which is off toward the west, closer to where the National Hurricane Center's forecast track is across southwest Louisiana. But a little bit of a different solution. The European model is trying to paint here as it brings the heavy rainfall on. But as I've mentioned with it, possibly not even moving on shore, the center of it, it's showing it a little bit further offshore as that moisture gets pushed toward the west and then is trying to bring Laura right over Terrebonne and Lafourche Parish. And so that brunt of the activity would then be across southeast Louisiana. So need to look at several more model runs, see if it's going to jump again, because what's been happening is we've just been having so many different solutions that it's hard to pinpoint exactly where that system is going to go. At least with Laura, we have a couple of days to look at that, but otherwise, we have Marco that's knocking on the door here and expected to move on shore or just near the shoreline in the afternoon and evening hours today. So again, we've got a little bit of rainfall moving through, but I do expect that to pick up as we head through the day. So as those impacts become more known, of course, we're going to pass that information along to you. You can also get the very latest information right now on WDSU.com. For now, we'll see you here in 30 minutes.